Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today it is time that I read another one of my blog posts that came from a trance. This was recorded on 12 I am a witch of light. I walk with both light and shadow. I grew in the darkness. I was a seed. The light touched me. My tears had watered me. I grew. I evolved. I blossomed. I walk with the light in my heart. My soul is of the light. I chose the hardest of paths to walk. I got this far through hell. If it were easy, I would not be here right now. I am of the light, through and through. My wings are of light. My heart is of light. My soul is of light. My soul is a shining star. I came from a higher dimension. I came here to spread my light to the world. In hopes you too would resonate with what I sell. I plant the seed. What you do with that is up to you. Remember, you create your own reality. You are your own master of your own. I wanted to know. You are your own master. Leave it at that. What you do with that is up to you. You are powerful. You are divine. Out with the darkness. Heal your shadow work. Do your shadow work. Blossom into the light. Go from there. And this is when I was starting to accept that I am a witch of light, of nature, of balance, not so much chaos, not darkness. So, what does that say? You become what you are meant to become. Um. No. Oh. That's not it. Why do I always do that one? Uh, what was it? Okay. Um. The light always comes back when you see it, when you're uh, when you open your extra hidden senses to it, meaning the third eye, all your chakras, you become aware of your aura, your energy, your chakras, everything that is of spirit. You become what you are meant to become. You cannot change your soul race. No matter what you do, you always become what you are. For me, I thought I was this person that was to become a full-on uh, Satanist and fit into with that dark occult crowd. However, as time went on, when I was there... What happened? I went crazy. My mind. When I got out of it, out of that path, what happened? Balance. K. 
clarity, clarity happened. I was in harmony with myself, therefore the craziness had stopped. And as time went on, I evolved more and more to the person I am today, and the messages that I show now. As a blogger, you, for me, I have to use what my voice. The voice is connected to my crown chakra. My voice is connected to my throat chakra. My voice is connected to my third eye and pineal gland. Therefore, also one last thing. The voice is also connected to the heart chakra. It is also connected to the uh, the chakra chakra. I think that's the one for art, uh, creativity chakra. I'm just going to leave it at that. And if my voice was not connected to those chakras, I would definitely not be here. Because my voice moves faster than what I can type. My brain waves are going faster than what my hands can type. Okay, I typed a script, right? Now I'm doing this part. Because my brain somehow added more information after I was reading it or during when I was reading a script. You can call it improv... 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 Impro improvise. Im improvise. I am not... You can call it that, but for me it is like a trance, if you will. I'm in a trance, okay, I feel the energy flow in, and then my brain gives out more information on microphone than I do via hands. Again, because your voice moves faster than what you can type. Your hands can only move so fast. And I know a lot of people say, oh, you have to read a script. You don't have to. Because for me, whenever I did try that, it was, well, monologue in tone, uh, not very good. Not enough energy behind what I was talking about. And people complained and said, are you on drugs? Are you crazy? Are you high? Are you on drugs? You're talking about... And then one person said, You talk about love, but you do not have the energy back in it. So then he asked, Am I on drugs? After saying that first comment, and then on, I'm like, Okay, I was going to comment and say... Sorry, it was my bad audio recording. The audio effects made me sound like a robot or a chipmunk. Bad. And then when I saw he wrote back on a, another video and said and asked me if I was on drugs, I'm like, okay, you're just a troll. Goodbye. So, yeah. But there's always more knowledge when I do these videos, you can say improvise in, finally, I said it correctly, or side notes, but for me, it is just about drawing back to, you're in a trance, you feel the energies flowing, you see things, you can heal things, and what happens, you record more and more. New topics can come through. It's uh, whatever is flowing. And I prefer just leaving uncut videos because the more I speak, 
the more I get into it, the more I have fun, the more energy and charisma I produce. Therefore, my energy will help you rise or heal or something. So I, for me as a spirit blogger, I can't really create scripts. And I know I've, I've watched many YouTubers who say, when you are first starting out YouTube, you must, you are required to write a script word for word or a loose script and then improvise here and there. For me, as a spirit blogger, or even as a gamer, I can't do that. Who, who does that? I mean, it's not like you are uh, creating a, a video for a tutorial, then you have to. Because all my tutorials, I have to create that script, write it down word for word, rather than speaking. But even then, I can improvise and add a side note here and there because yeah this is how my brain works uh so even as a hey come chill with me for a day and uh slice of life videos if you will do they do scripts probably not it just depends on the type of content you are making but, yeah, it's all about, do I do scripts? Or just completely go into a trance and record everything. For me, I have to record everything that is flowing through me at that given time. Therefore, I make a long video. And that's actually good. Because some people want that. Rather than a three minute video, let's make it a half an hour and hang out, chill, relax, have fun. And you can't really do that if you're on a script. Gamers don't do that. Sure, they have an idea of what they will do that day. But for me, I'm water. I go with the flow. I have a general idea of what I wanted to discuss. And I am now bombarding you with what? more information, more charisma, more energy, and having fun at the same time, therefore you will keep coming back. You are drawn to my energy. If I was just reading script word for word for word, not very good with the energy that is back in my voice. But yeah, the more I talk, the more I get into it, the better the video quality will be. I mean, for, for instance, if I were to... This is as a general idea. Uh, because I did watch a video like this, so I'm just gonna... Okay, idea one. I have a 24-hour challenge. And I, I had the idea of, okay, I am going to... One. Sit in my chair and never leave it for 24 hours. See if I could do that or see how long. Okay, idea one, 24 hour challenge. Can you sit in your chair and for so how long before the 24 hours are up? I don't know, I just came up with that and like, yeah, it's, it's a funny idea. But then you cut content. I'm not going to produce a video that is 24 hours. I'm going to uh, cut it down, cut out all the uh, not-so-fun parts. Like, if I stop talking for like an hour, I am going to cut that out. And, yeah, th then you would. But, but yeah. Uh, I think that is it for this video. See, 15 minutes and it would have been like, what, three minute long video if I just read that and said goodbye. And then I got more and more and more into it. 
and better. Good. Until we meet again.